to publicise murder on the Nile with this wonderful cast, and it's opening very soon at the Madam Market, 20th of August, and Virgin Money Lounge have organised this great event to help support the project. And last time they raised £700 for it, so we're delighted to be here and uh, really appreciative of their support. And there's a whole bunch of people here tonight to come and see it, so it's good. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Virgin Money Lounge on behalf of Julianne, who's organised this event. A huge round of applause and thank you. This is the second time that we've been invited to come here on behalf of the Mad Market Theatre. I'm one of the joint creative directors there, along with Peter Beck, who can't be here tonight, but he is here uh, in the guise of this set that he's designed. So we're working together on this project. He's designed this beautiful uh, boat. Uh, which is going to be our set, and um, uh, th th this will be brought round to you around the tables in a moment, and, and we can show you the set. Basically, you come up through the auditorium, uh, up the gangplank, and what's very exciting is when, when it starts halfway through the play, these are the paddle steamer's engines, and these will turn, and so you'll see the lights turning, and it'll be extraordinarily romantic. Back here is a bar, and um, there'll be people acting around the bar and all of that as well, and the cabins around the back. The the, the conceit is that it goes right round the back the whole of the boat. So um, that's the look of it, but uh, Julie will bring it round and show the, 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 uh, the model to you. So Julie, if you'd like to go round and show people. So uh, Julie is uh, in the play, and we're delighted that she's, she's in it. We'll find out more about her in a moment. The play opens on the 20th of August. 20th of August, the play opens at the Madam Market. Um, and it's part of the Agatha Christie season that we produce. And uh, it runs for 10 days. Uh, we've got a uh, Murder on the Nile, and we've also got Afternoon at the Seaside, which is going to be playing in our Emerson Studio Theatre in the afternoon. Yes! And uh, there's many of the cast here as well from that, so it's kind of a, a crossover from uh, both, both companies. And in fact, we've even got our very own Kenneth Branagh here tonight because Stephen Skate is directing Afternoon at the Seaside, and he's in it. And he's in Murder on the Nile as an actor as well. So uh, that, that's making his directorial debut. So that's exciting. Uh, Julie Benfield is here. And Julie is in both plays as well. So you can come and see the afternoon show and the evening show. And you can also see the film starring Peter Ustinov as well. So we've got a treble bill for you. So lots to see. Um, I'm directing it. I'm delighted to be doing it. I was in it years ago. And uh, so I'm excited to be returning to it. And I played the part of Simon Morrison. So let's find out who's in the cast and what they're playing, and let's start with the wonderfully talented actor, Christopher Neal, who's playing the part I played mm, 15 years ago. So no pressure. Uh, Chris, tell us, what, tell us about uh, your, your part. Yeah? Uh, my name's Chris Neal, I'm playing Simon Mostyn. Uh, I'm slipping into big shoes, of course, so no pressure for me there. But uh, in this play, I'm on my honeymoon with my lovely wife, Kay Mostyn, who sadly can't be with us this evening. Uh, and uh, yes, we're stepping off on what seems to be a nice trip, but uh, things quickly turn sour. Yes, yes, it's not not all that it appears to be. So this should be the perfect honeymoon, yes. but it it, it 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 doesn't end up like that. So yeah, your job is to get who done it, of course. So that's uh, that's great. So Chris, thank you very much indeed. Laura Landemore, would you like to step forward and tell us what you're playing and the, the, the description of the character? Hello, I am indeed Laura Landemore, and I play the part called Jacqueline de Severac, and I am a woman that's been scorned. Oh. By whom? I, I shall say no more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Uh, Stephen Skate, tell us what you're doing in the play. Hello, I'm Stephen Skate. Uh, I'm playing uh, William Smith, who's a very uh, socialistic young man, and I'm also a member of the Communist Party. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> and Kirsty is a new member of the Madam Market Theatre. Kirsty, come and tell us. Hi, I'm Kirsty Harrison. Um, I'm playing the part of Christina Grant. Um, I am on holiday on the cruise with. My aunt played by Julia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now, the, uh, when we came to cast this, Hamilton, the assistant director, and Mark, the production manager, and myself, thought 
is uh, Polly Clark, Mrs. Polly Clark, is she Miss Polly Clark, is she going to be sitting there with her knitting? And we thought, no, let's vamp her up and make her like a siren, 1930s siren. So we cast Julie Benfield. Julie, come and, come and uh, tell us. and I'm playing Miss Folly at Folk. Yeah. <laughs> and I brought my niece, Christina Grubb, on this cruise and described as 60 snobbish and bad tempered. <laughs> 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 Steve Goyman is, is returning to the Madame Market Theatre as an actor, and we're delighted to have him with us. And come and tell us what you're doing, Steve. Right, well done. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Steve, and I'm playing McNaught, the ship's manager, uh, on which all the action takes place. So I did try a bit of control, but uh, see how it goes. Okay. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. And Julie, Julie Hewitt, tell us about your part, please. Hello, I'm Julie Hewitt, and um, I play Louise who is the French maid, and she is the maid of Madame Mosquine and Monsieur Mosquine. Um, Louise maybe has a secret or two of her own, but you have to watch the play to find out what they may be, whether she overstretches herself or whether she gets it in the bag. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Now, many of you will know Agatha Christie's favourite characters, Miss Marple and Poirot, of course, but yeah, she took him out of this play and, uh, uh, yeah, and, and replaced him with a character uh, called the Canon, Canon Pennyfather. So, uh, in that guise, let's find out a bit more about it from David, David Reed. Well, good evening to you. I'm David Reed and I'm playing Canon Pennyfather. Um, to say the least, I might solve a few things. There again, I might not. I might be killing people, I might not. The only way you'll find out is to come and see us in the Madam Market or slip me some money for my favourite Christmas fun, which I can deal with later. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> and, a, and a quick word from Jane from Afternoon at the Seaside over there. Jane, tell us about what you're doing in the Afternoon at the Seaside, my darling. <laughs> I don't like to say it. Little slipping, and the character sitting right in the edge of the beach. Excellent. You do have a little who's done it. It's not a murder, it's a theft. It's a theft, yeah. excellent. And it is a delightful piece. <laughs> Excellent. Mm. Hamilton, from your point of view, assistant director on this, um, how has the journey been for you seeing all these people develop as actors? It's, it's exciting, isn't it? It's all very exciting, yes. Actually, Agatha Christie was a clever lady. We didn't realise how clever she was. You know, you can see these things over and over again on television, different versions, and they all seem to be fairly straightforward. But underneath, she was writing very interesting stuff. She was pushing the envelope of the 1930s, 40s, 50s of what people were regarding as acceptable. All done very cleverly, and it's really worth watching some of these things. And in this play, there are a lot of little clever little things she does, and she does devastating things from the actor's point of view because it all gets very serious. And then she does it for one bit of comedy, <laughs> which makes it really impossible. But she likes playing a game, so she was an interesting lady. Excellent. And this is one of her more one of her more interesting plays, less obvious as well. And we've cast it. We haven't. Cast, we haven't done the casting in a stereotypical kind of way either, so, uh, but we've remained true. It is a true telling, so you won't come there and be disappointed. We're, we're not going to play around with it too much at all. Um, Mark, who is doing the filming. Mark, have you had a good time on this show so far? Had a very good time. It's always good working with people at Matter Market. Uh, very professional uh, cast and crew. Always good fun to work with Stash. And um, yeah, it's really coming together. Really excellent. pleased with it. Excellent. And the actors cannot develop as quickly as they have done without somebody like Mark, who's on the books, who's there supporting them all the time. Very important role. So thank you, Mark, very much indeed. Thank you.